aim is to determine the resistance per centimeter of a given wire by plotting a graph of potential difference versus current battery eliminator, a key, a rheostat, an ammeter, a voltmeter and the wire in question. Ohm's law, the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its ends provided the physical conditions such as temperature, pressure, etc. of the conductor remain the same. If I is the current flowing through the conductor and V is the potential difference across its ends, then according to Ohm's law, V is equal to Ri, where R is the constant of proportionality. It is known as resistance of the conductor. First of all, we have to connect the negative terminal of the battery with one terminal of one way key. Now the another terminal of one way key is connected to the upper terminal of rheostat. The lower terminal of the rheostat should be connected with the negative terminal of the voltmeter. The positive terminal of the voltmeter should be connected to the negative terminal of milliameter. The positive terminal of the milliameter. is connected with the positive terminal of the battery eliminator. The unknown resistance should be connected in parallel with the voltmeter. You can see the total circuit diagram for Ohm's law. In order to revise our circuit and to understand the circuit clearly, we must remember that the ammeter should always be placed in series and the voltmeter should always be placed in parallel with the conductor across which we want the potential difference. The range of the meters, the least count of the two meters and the least count of the ruler. So what do we have here? The ammeter, the range is from 0 to 1.5 that we can record. We can find the least count by determining the number of divisions between 0 and 1. If we see this carefully, there are 40 divisions. So, 1 upon 40 is my least count. 
which calculates to 0 0.025 amperes. Likewise, look at this voltmeter, the range is from 0 to 1.5 volts and there are 40 divisions again between 0 and 1. So, my least count for this meter as well is 0 0.025 volts. Least count for the meter scale by which we measure the length of the resistance wire is 1 millimeter and the length of the wire as we had checked out was 20 centimeters. Let us now start taking our readings. I switch on the eliminator, put the key in and let us observe the reading in the ammeter. The ammeter reading is 5 divisions. We can take and record the reading in divisions and later multiply it by the least count to get the real value in amperes. The corresponding voltmeter reading as we can see is 10 divisions. We change the value of current in the circuit using the rheostat and observe that the ammeter reading is 8 divisions and the voltmeter reading is 18. I change again ammeter reading is 12 divisions and the voltmeter reading as we see here is 26 divisions. We take more readings like this. The ammeter reading is now 16 divisions and our corresponding voltmeter reading is 35 divisions. One more reading we can take here. In this way, we can take at least 5 readings. Minimum of 5 are required because we plan to plot a graph. So, the ammeter reading this time is 13 divisions and the voltmeter reading is 28 divisions. The resistance of the wire which you will get by two means. One, by dividing the value of voltage with current and the second would be by using the graph. So, in both ways you can find the value of resistance. Then calculate the resistance per centimeter. We can calculate our value for resistance by dividing the voltmeter divisions by the ammeter and approximately if you see just by looking at the readings, this value comes out to be almost the same. When you plot a graph with these readings, you can take a mean value of the line. From the slope, you can find out the value for resistance as also resistance per centimeter by using the length that you had already taken earlier.